Hi Jim, this is Liz with, from Raisist. And real quick, what we're gonna do for you, or what I'm gonna do for you is engrave this clay paver. Um, this, is, this was a very cold paver. It was sitting um, so on our shelf in our workshop room. So I brought it out. I noticed that it, it was very cold to the touch. And you never wanna apply a laser mask or a photo resist mask to a cold brick stone paver because the adhesive is not going to adhere to the paver. So we want to make sure that this sticks to, the, to our paver. So what I did do is I used a mini blowtorch just to heat this up about 30, 40 seconds till it was kind of hot to the touch or you can you know put it out in the sun so it can get some heat and it can warm up a little bit. So now I'm going to take my mask. Um, I don't have laser masks. Like we don't have a laser engraver, but I am using a photo resist mask. And this is a four mil and laser mask is a four mil. So I'm using the same uh, thickness as you would have uh, for a laser mask. So now I'm going to apply the sticky side. Um, what I did do is we put a, uh, several light layers of adhesive over this to make it really sticky so it can stick to our paver and you will need to do that with the laser mask. You can just take a paintbrush and just brush on, on this side, several layers of adhesive. Now depending on how deep you want to carve, you may need to double up the laser mask. So this is a four mil, and laser mask is a four mil, but you can double the laser mask to make it an 8 mil. So now I've removed the carrier. You see how I, mean, I, I burnished it down, removed this carrier, and I'm going to tape off the exposed area. And you can have your laser mask just cover the whole paver so you don't have to tape off anything. And what you can do is you know additionally just kind of press it down especially the centers of your lettering the center of the A's you want to make sure that this is down and with the paver being warm it really helps for the mask to stick to the paver okay so we're gonna put the paver in our cabinet this is our 2034 a VX sand carving system. If you notice, the cabinet has dual doors, so you can enter the cabinet through both sides. It makes it nice and easy. Um, we also have our regulator right in front of the cabinet, and as you'll notice, uh, we have our, our pressure gauge right up here, so you can see what your blasting pressure is. And if you want to raise it or lower it, you simply just turn this knob, and you can raise it to your uh, the blasting pressure you desire to blast at. Foot pedal on and off basically it comes on wheels so you can move it around easily and basically the cabinet comes as is just a couple quick connects uh, for you uh, to set up so here's our padded armrest and I'm going to start blasting this piece Right now we're just going to blast the membrane away of the photoresist and a little bit of the adhesive. And if you want to blast the paver quicker, you can certainly double up your laser mask and raise your pressure and that way you're working with an 8 mil mask at a higher pressure and you will cut quicker. You will engrave this a lot quicker. So if you're looking for uh, depth and speed on these, certainly double up your laser mask and raise up your, pre your blasting pressure. And if you notice my blasting distance, you do not want to get too close, but you don't want to be too far either. So just keep a nice distance and just kind of sweeping back and forth and you always want to blast 
straight on at a 90 degree angle. You never want to blast at an, um, at an angle to where you could possibly lift up the mask or the centers of your letters. Always blast straight on uh, to your mask. Okay, and if you notice, this is taking a little bit of time, but because I'm working with a four mil mask, and I don't want to raise my pressure uh, too high because it is a four mil, I don't want to burn through my, ma my mask. So I'm blasting at 30 pounds of pressure. If you notice my distance, I'll be, I want to make sure that I kind of baby the mask, especially around the centers of some letters. So I don't want to get too close or be too aggressive. Now if I have uh, an 8 mil, like if you doubled up your laser mask, or a 6 mil photoresist, I could certainly come in very close, raise my pressure to 50 pounds, and this would have already been engraved uh, some time ago. So that if you want to do a quicker, thicker mask, and you can certainly raise your blasting pressure to 45, 50, some people even do 60 pounds of pressure, so you just want to kind of Take it, maybe start at 45 and then raise your pressure from there. Now let's take a look at how deep I am right now. I'm gonna hold it up to the light. And I see I do got a nice little groove right. I have a nice depth. That looks pretty deep. And the name, it does have some depth. And another um, rule of thumb is you don't wanna go deeper than your line is wide. So that's a good depth for that size font. Okay, now we placed our brick with the mask on, because I'm gonna paint this. This is in our mini paint booth. And what I have here is our lithochrome aerosol paint. It's called Black Shadow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it just to make sure I can get the paint in all the areas, all the little cracks and grooves. So you want to turn it a couple ways. And then I'm going to do it one more time. So I make sure all the areas are covered. Okay, this should be what I need. So now I'm going to take the mask off the paver. You don't want to put too much paint, but you want to make sure you do it in nice layers, light layers. Okay, so now I have a lot of um, masking, little pieces here. So I'm going to take some blasting tape. It's going to roll it up. I'm going to tack, get this little, tack this up. See how easy that came up? Really nice. Okay. Okay, so now we're done. We got nice depth. It's painted. It does need to dry. And, and now it's complete. So from putting the mask on, burnishing it down, making sure that my mask was sticky with layers of adhesive, and then putting it in the sandblast cabinet and sandblasting. And your sandblasting time just really depends on, on your, the thickness of the mask as well as your blasting pressure. Raise that pressure up with a thicker mask, it's gonna cut a lot quicker and it's gonna save you some time.